welcome back and welcome to the final video in my books versus movies week, book to movie week. Um, this one I've been kind of like working on for a while now because it's a book versus TV series and as you know TV series take longer to watch than films do. Additionally this particular TV series takes uh, a long time to watch because it's just so intense and of course that TV series is 13 Re Reasons Why uh, based on the book of the same name by Jay Asher. I listened to this book on audiobook and then I came to series one of the TV show on Netflix. Um, I'm just going to be comparing the book to series one, I'm not going to go into series two. I am going to watch series two um, and I might share some of my thoughts about that that with you but um, I'm literally just doing the comparison for book versus series one on Netflix um, so controversially I really wish that I had read I had watched the TV show first and I know that's difficult because the um, book has been around longer than the TV show has um, and so, you know, logistically speaking, it would be difficult to have teen, seen the TV series first. Oh my goodness, I cannot get words out today. Um, however, I'm just so impressed with the TV series as a show in its own right. I kind of almost wish I'd seen it before reading the book. Um, there'll be a lot of you out there who have watched the TV show but not read the book or watched TV show and are intending on reading the book and I'm kind of a little bit jealous of you. I think they did such a great job with the casting, with the way they've stuck to the book, with the way they've shot and edited it. So the book, especially the audio book, gives um, tension because of the storyline and what's happening and you get to the end of a tape and you want to read on and find out what's what Hannah Baker has said on the next tape um, whereas the TV sh show gives this whole sense of atmosphere obviously you get to the end of one episode and you want to watch the next episode like which you do um, but it gives you this sense of tension through the way they shoot it and the way they show you clips from before and clips from now and the way they kind of bring them together so when Clay is getting really paranoid the way they kind of like make him think that he's seeing Hannah or make them think that he's uh, seeing people accusing him of things and I think that that could only really be done in that way with a TV show so that they both create atmosphere completely differently and tension but they both do it so well like the book itself I wanted to keep coming back to it both the book and the TV show I found very very intense neither of them were things that I could binge through for a big chunk of time so I would maybe watch two or one and a half episodes back to back. Yes, I would have to like turn on to the next episode but then sort of stop maybe halfway through and come back to it. Um, and yeah, in terms of listening to the book, until I got to like the last couple of hours of the audiobook, I find that I could do like an hour and then I had to stop, which is similar to the TV show as well just because the subject matter is obviously so intense you've got so many issues affecting um, teens and young people dealt with you think on the surface okay it's about teen suicide and the things that can lead to teen suicide but you've got um, body shaming in there slut shaming in there bullying um, bullying because of sexuality bullying because of um, kind of femininity and masculinity like bullying because of somebody's own identity you've got the the names and the words that people call each other you've got the fact that um, sort of status becomes a thing as well teens who have to work versus teens who don't have to work issues at home issues with parents who are divorced issues with step parents issues with friendships 
like so many things are covered in both the TV show and the book that yeah it becomes a really really intense experience whether you're watching the show or reading the book and I think both did it so well um, I think in my in my head in the book Clay's family and Hannah's family um, were quite different I think in the TV show they seem a lot nicer and a little bit more wholesome I think maybe just because in my head I didn't really cast them as specific people they were just a set of parents and a parent or a mother or a father and so in that sense I felt a little bit like I got to know them differently and also in the TV show they have we have scenes where we see them independent of the children whereas in the book you only hear about their families through interactions with either Hannah or Clay either set of parents um, and so I think that the family plays a bigger part and plays a more wholesome a little bit more of a stereotypical part in the TV show but I'd say that that was the main difference I just think they've done a really good job and yeah controversially the show I think is really good and I kind of wish I'd come to the show first a little bit because I know what's going to happen and I know the twists and turns that there are going to be because I've read the book whereas if I had just come to the show it would be that added level of tension of not knowing what was going to happen next um so yeah so as always please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed please let me know in the comments if there are other book to movie adaptations you would like me to comment on you would like me to cover even if that means reading a new book or watching a new show or movie for me that is absolutely fine I've had some suggestions recently where I'm going to have to do both um, but I'm totally up for that because I really enjoy looking at the differences and looking the way looking at the way books have been adapted to TV shows or movies um, and yeah those trailers that I've had this week as well you can look forward to me making a book versus movie for both of those um, yeah make sure you are subscribed I have I do actually have another video coming up tomorrow that is my book Tubathon TBR and yes if you are sub subscribed then all of my book Tubathon videos will land straight in your subscription feed it's always a fun week um, and yeah I do have some more book versus movies in the pipeline from comments that I've got on Twitter and Instagram those are always linked below uh, so I will see you tomorrow with my book Tubathon TBR thanks again for watching <laughs>